What is going on everybody? Today we are super excited to announce our new software update for the Unity 6. This is version 2.6.0 and we have made huge improvements on how fast and accurate you can program presets. Now we've made full use of the BPM knob so you can scroll through all the menu items, make minute changes or fast scroll through all the values and really take full use of the features available on the Unity 6 to streamline your programming. We've also added a brand new way to toggle loops on and off, which saves a tremendous amount of time as well. So let's jump on over to the pedal board and we'll deep dive into this version 2.6.0 and show you everything we've done to streamline programming. Okay, so here we are over on the pedal board and we have an empty clean bank to start with. We wanna show you the huge improvement that we've made to programming presets with version 2.6.0. So as we come into the bank, into programming um, and presets, basically every preset or every programming menu now makes the use of the BPM knob, which makes things extremely fast. So that's an expression programming or bank send programming or any of the presets here. Um, of course, we've always been able to scroll banks quickly, but now if you click, you'll be able to get the drop down menu, um, instead of touching. So here inside the programming menu, we have allowed the ability to use the BPM knob, which really speed things up. So you can scroll through the menu items. Of course, if a menu item is grayed out, you can't select it. Um, and we'll get to these loops here in a minute. You'll see loops is a new feature. But for now, to quickly program, you can just click and scroll. And um, so for instance, we can do a press, we can pick our CC, we can scroll the numbers, we still have fast scrolling or slow scrolling, and then the value does the same thing. Again, if it's grayed out, you can't click on it. So that is clearly something much faster. And then let's talk about a second feature that we added. So now, if you're programming any pedals that don't have um, numbers shown, like the H9 has a number shown, um, like it shows the preset number one. Uh, the Zoya will actually show the number on the screen, but anything like the Revelation or Eternity, Pog that, or the Strymon Trifecta, the Kemper Player here, anything that doesn't have a number shown, we've really sped things up. So what you can do is, is calling up presets, you can select PC, and right now we're on the Zoya channel. So just pay attention to the Zoya over here. When we click on this, you can now see it scrolling through presets. And this, you know the Zoya updates really quickly. It just depends on some of your other pedals, how fast they're gonna update. But as you can see, as we're scrolling through, we're getting, we're getting the actual preset being called up over here. So you can actually see what's going on. And then you should be able to hear what's going on as well, assuming that your pedal engages whenever you send a PC message. So now we can scroll through those. Uh, if we want to scroll through the H9, you just select your MIDI channel, come back here. And now the H9 is, is, is a one based offset. So PC zero is actually one. Hope that doesn't confuse anyone, but one is going to be two. So you'll notice there's a, there's a number offset, but it doesn't matter. You can scroll through here and see what preset is being pulled up and you'll be able to hear what preset is uh, what, it, what your preset sounds like because we're act actively sending a PC message to that. All right, so another thing is, is this also works via Bluetooth. So we have, let's just go ahead and select the Kemper player here. The Kemper is in MIDI channel four, but we're connected via Bluetooth uh, via their USB-A port. So we have a Bluetooth connection from the Unity 6 to the Kemper. And so when we scroll down here to activate Presets, you'll see the presets now scrolling through here and you'll be able to hear those changes live as you make them. Um, same thing goes for Revelation and Eternity. I think you guys get the point by now, but you just select your channel. Let's just say Eternity in this case. And then as, as we scroll through here, you'll see the presets update as you're going through the different numbers. And in our case, PC zero actually bypasses the pedal. So you'll notice when we go to zero, it has bypassed the pedal. All right, so that's how we do uh, our new options to use the scroll wheel in version 2.6. So this really 
uh, speeds up how you program, but we have another huge feature here is the loops. So inside our message types now, we have gotten rid of the toggle loops. So as you know, before you have loop on, loop off, and then toggle loop is not used anymore. And we'll explain why. So we, have, we now have loop groupings. Um, so the loop groupings are tied to, first of all, each switch have their own groupings. And then within each switch, the press action has their own grouping. So let's, let's see this in action. So we're on message one. We don't even need to send any MIDI messages. Um, so you just need to pick a press action. So, okay, so let's go into press action and we'll select our press action. In this case, we're gonna do a release because I'm also gonna do a double tap on this switch. So we're gonna come to the release and we're gonna turn on loops one, three, and five. And by the way, as you turn these on, you can hear them as, as you're programming through presets. So you'll be able to hear all the changes going on as you program. Now let's go to our second message. Let's do a double tap. And then let's turn on two and four. So what we've done here is only two and four is on and we didn't touch one, three, and five, okay? So let's go back out of our programming. All right, so now we're out of the programming. We're gonna do the release should turn on one, three, and five. And remember, we didn't touch anything with one, three, and five on the double tap. We only assigned two and four. So when we double tap, the loop grouping are automatically knew that one, three, and five needed to be off and two and four is on. And so now, as you can see, we can do this with another switch. If we go into programming, into the presets, let's go to switch two. How about, um, let's, let's just do a press because we're only gonna do one thing here. And then let's just turn on loop three. That's it. So when we come back to bank one, we've got our release, does one, three, and five. Our double tap does two and four. And then over here on this switch, it activates three. So as you can see, our loop groupings are now automatically all tied together across each one of the switches. So again, that's a huge update to version 2.6. We think this is gonna speed things up. Um, and another added benefit, turning on your loop grouping doesn't take any of your 32 messages. So you, now you have a full 32 MIDI messages that you can send and loop grouping does not have anything to do with that. Um, and then let's, let's say for instance, what if you wanted to in a certain circumstance, go ahead and make another change. Like this would be kind of ridiculous, but let's go into switch two and for our press action, we can still assign a loop off and we can still go in here and do loop three. And so the loop grouping happens first and then any messages will fire second. So that's why I said this is kind of pointless, but you'll see the point of why we're doing this. As we turn on here, remember that three goes on, but then we send the MIDI message to turn it off. So you can see that you still have total control to actually turn on or off any loops and override that loop grouping, if that makes sense. So anyways, we did a short segment here for programming a preset. So you kind of get the idea of how fast you can program presets and then how you can hear your changes live as you're updating that. So uh, have a look at this and we'll go from there. Let's show you how to program a preset into the ambient. So we'll go into programming uh, by touching the screen, hitting the program button, and then hitting preset. So we want to program preset three. We hit that button and then we can use the scroll wheel here to scroll around through our messages. So in this case, let's first thing we want to do is set our press action. So this is going to happen whenever we press. And then what, message, what messages do we want to send? So we're going to send a PC message and we can go to uh, our MIDI channel here. Let's go to the H9. And as you scroll through the numbers here, you will see the H9 changing presets on there, but we just want to go to the first preset. And then for, we also want to turn on our loop five, which is going to be the Juliana. So we just turn on the loop five. And then for the second message, 
you can see that all of our loops are tied to the press action. So as soon as we scroll to that press action, our loop five shows you that will be engaged. And again, for a PC message, we're gonna go to the revelation, which is in channel six. And then we wanna, I'll change it over here. We want to go to this green preset, great. And then message three, again, is going to be a press. PC, and then we will change our delay sounds as well. And then that's going to be, let's see, the red preset there. So now you can actually hear all the sounds we have dialed up since the eventide's engaged, the revelation is engaged, and the attorney's engaged, and then our loop five is engaged, so this would be our clean tone. Or I apologize, this would be our ambient tone. So you'll be able to hear all your changes as you're going through your programming mode. So now to get out of this, so now we can go to our clean tone, rhythm, and then quickly over to ambient. back to our clean. All right, so there it is. Now you can see how fast and efficient it is to program presets on the Unity 6. I can't wait until you guys download it and try it out. Once you've gotten a chance to do so, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the new release and the new update. We'll talk to you guys later.